Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail Graham and I'm here to show you how to replace the tail shaft on the Blade 450 3D. The first thing we're going to do is remove the tail linkage rod from the tail pitch lever. So we're going to reach under here and just pop that off. Now once you've done that, the tail will be able to move freely. You want to rotate the tail blades in such a way that you expose the set screw, which you can see here. And then using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key, you simply loosen this screw. You don't need to remove it completely, just loosen it. And now you can grab the entire tail assembly and simply slide it off. The next thing after you've removed the tail assembly is to remove the vertical tail fin. And you'll do this using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Now that you have removed the vertical tail fin, you will use a small Phillips head screwdriver and you will remove the three Phillips head screws that are located on the tail case. One here, here, and here. Now that you've removed the screws from the tail case, simply grab both halves of the tail case and pull them apart. They should come off rather easily. Now that we have the tail case apart, we are going to remove the old tail shaft. If the bearing stays on, it's no problem. Simply take it off and reinsert back into the tail, into the tail case. And now we are going to take our new tail shaft and put it back into the tail case. I'm going to set that aside for a second. Before we reassemble the tail case, it's important to note that the belt is twisted in the, in the proper direction. If your belt moves for any reason during disassembly, simply make sure the belt is straight. And the way you do this is by looking down the tail of the helicopter and you'll be able to see whether, the, whether or not the belt is straight with the pulley. Once you've confirmed that the belt is straight, simply rotate it 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. Now that you've completed that, you can take one half of the tail case assembly, the half with the tail shaft in, and you want to make sure that when you Put the case back onto the tail boom. Make sure that the pulley go, the belt goes onto the pulley. Once you have gotten one half of the tail case onto the tail boom, simply grab the other half, align it with the tail shaft, and slide it into place. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and the three screws that went into the tail case and screw the screws back in one at a time. Now that you have the three screws into the tail case, you need to use the two long machine screws to reattach the vertical tail fin. To do this, you'll use your 1.5 millimeter Allen key again. Now before you tighten down the first screw, you will want to get the second screw in so that you will not have to realign the vertical tail fin. 
When you have both screws in, tighten them completely. You need to make sure that the pitch lever has guide pins here and here. You need to make sure that when you slide the assembly on that those guide pins go into the pitch slider here. Okay? So I'm going to slide that on. And as I slide it on, I'm making sure that the guide pins go into the pitch slider. Now, once you have the guide pins in the pitch slider, slide the hub onto the tail shaft. You may need to rotate the blades a little bit. There is a groove cut out on the tail shaft that the set screw has to screw into. So you want to locate that groove and then you want to position the set screw over that groove and using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key tighten it back down. Now a good way to make sure that you're actually in the groove is to once you've started to tighten down the set screw, move the hub back and forth. If it stops, then you know you're in the groove. Once you have determined that you're in the groove, make sure the hub is flush with the tail shaft, and then using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key, tighten the set screw down completely. And to complete the tail case assembly and tail shaft replacement, simply take your control linkage rod and snap it back onto the control ball.